Hallo und willkommen. I can only second this. It's my honor to be here. This is my first men's seminar. I would like to follow up on the previous speaker's storyline. When I was 29 years old, I didn't become acquainted with a Latin American woman, but with a Russian woman. For one week, I was standing uh, uh, in one room, and I had 25 ejaculations. I wanted to kill myself in the end. This is uh, the start of my voyage or journey as a man that brought me to finding out more about what I wanted. I tried out all sorts of things from Tantra to Yoga. I paid visits to practically all the major teachers and then I embarked again on the journey. What I am going to tell you is my journey from more than 25 years of wandering around in the in on this earth uh, tantra and semen retention will keep you young i'm now 54 years old i will be turning 55 in october my journey started as a professional facilitator and practitioner in 2010 when i embarked on this journey i started to teaching men and women to become multisexual, to have sexual experiences with each other without uh, taking off the snack. I attended, I attended several Tantra schools and I showed men and women and couples how they can treat each other. In 2014, I became acquainted with Betty Martin, my current tutor, with the will of consent. Uh, I have been her student for six years, and I traveled around the world. Uh, I participated in various courses. I taught couples and individuals how to bind better together. From Tantra and sexual energy, on the other hand, uh, there is a possibility to benefit from everything that you have been learning and to find out how you can link up with other individuals. And that's what I want to tell you more about today. So, how many German speakers do we have here? And how many English speaking people do we have here? So, only a few. When I traveled around the world in 2010, I started uh, talking in English and learning in English uh, so many things that I cannot tell you in German. I, s I left Berlin uh, in 2010. I had been living here for 12 years. I was a floor sender. I, we produced floors, and then I asked myself, why should I talk English? Because everybody is speaking German here, and my English is, was very bad. From 2014 to the present day, I learned everything in English. Certain things are unspeakable for me in German. Well, I am perfectly able to explain everything in English, and my language is Jinglish. What is consent? Uh, or in uh, German consent, Zustimmung. I would like to take you to a little exercise. If you want to join, please uh, turn to the man on either side, either to the left or to the right. Uh, turn to this man and ask him, may I kiss you? And the man will respond, no. And the very same man asks this him, may I kiss you? And the first man will reply, no. Do this little game back and forth repeatedly. May I kiss you? No. May I kiss you? No. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, now, 
I know, it's exciting. Now, I would ask you, or I would request you, to turn to the man on the other side and ask uh, the uh, ask the the man ca can you kiss me and the answer is no and do this little game back and forth several times Okay, thank you. So, everything to do with consent, well, you have learned everything. The question about asking for consent and asking somebody else for any action. For who was it difficult to ask another man, may I kiss you, can you kiss me? Was it difficult? So for some of you it was difficult. And f to who was it difficult to say no? Just for a few amongst you. But who thought when it is about kissing, kissing on the mouth? Yeah. So we are getting closer. Jinglish, we are approaching uh, consent. Once I try to explain to you what it is all about. If you have consent uh, looming specifically, specific, Jinglish, be specific, specific. Thank you. So. When it is about consent, you may be in for two things. You have uh, trained your consent muscle. You ask for a permission, and then you placed a request uh, for an action. This is, uh, these are the two things of consent. It's practically everything. Well, there is so much more around it. Consent, where does it come from in this area in which I work? Well, it was coined by an American felicitator, Harry Fettis, who developed this three-minute game. Who has ever heard of the three-minute game? Well, the three-minute game is a revolutionary thing. My talk today, well, if I remember well, well, it was about consent and dating to unite these two things. If you go to a date and meet up with another person or want to meet up and want to become intimate with the other individual, a three-minute game is a revolutionary possibility to enter into contact with other people. I'm going to elaborate on this uh, uh, in the workshop this night. Consent is sexy. I would I will then elaborate on the details. Question? Harry Fettis. Harry Fettis was the man's name. Harry Fettis. So, I'm lost. Who has uh, the thread uh, that I lost? Okay. Instructing the into the details. So, in 2014, I became acquainted with the will of consent by Betty Martin, and I learned from Betty Martin a deeper understanding of what consent is. Consent on a mental level circles around uh, these two things. Uh, asking for a permission and asking for an action. If you ask for permission that you may carry out an action on your own behalf in an intimate relationship, when it is about touching another person, there is a very uh, difficult difference to be taken into account. 
Are you doing something to have a feel for yourself? Or do you want to achieve a reaction from the other person? If you are doing anything to get a reaction from the other person, then you disregard uh, your somatic uh, sensation when it is about pleasure and sensuality. I would like to show you this in the last, in, in the next uh, two or three minutes. Take anything into your hand, anything that may be available. It may be a bottle or a pen, anything. Now, rationally speaking, you know what it is. You know what it is called, you know what you can do with it, how you can use it. Now, I would ask you, please, go down one level deeper. This is the somatic level, just to feel what uh, information can you get from this uh, object, uh, the temperature, the surface. Is it coarse or soft? Is it hard? Is it edgy? What is it like? Just be for one moment with this information. The next step, no matter how fast you are in touching this object, half it, cut it in two and half it once again. Find any spot on your hand, be it uh, on the palm of the hand or in between the fingers where you feel something tickling or titillating, energetic or sensual. And with this sensation of tickling, be just with it for one moment. Just uh, sense it while you are acting for yourself, on your own behalf, not for anybody else. It's not about achieving anything or getting anything. Can you feel yourself? Now, what's happening now? Once you get into touch with yourself, if and once you give permission to yourself to feel this, now bring back your attention, but keep contact with this object that you are holding. The question to you, uh, can you feel yourself when you touch another person? Can you get into touch with yourself, uh, uh, the feeling in your skin? Can you feel this sensation in your skin once you touch another person? Which brings us back to the question, may I feel you? May I touch you and to stay in touch with your own feeling without uh, being lost in the other person's reaction. This is Mannsein, being a man today. I would have wished anybody would have told me before I fucked the Russian woman 25 times and ejaculated 25 times and showed her what a strong stallion I am. Thank you very much.